Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is BD. Today I'm going to be talking about the shooting that took place yesterday in Ondo State in a Catholic church. This is really terrible. I really um, send my condolences to all those that lost their family or anyone involved in this situation to the people of Ondo State and Nigeria's large. Uh, this is a terrible situation. My own way of contributing to this issue because I'm not a fighter. I'm not, you know, there's no way I can see that and overlook it. And the only way I can respond to it is to help give us a few guidelines on how to respond when you find yourself in a situation like this. What to tell your children and how they should respond when they find themselves in a situation like this. So share this video. If you share, teach your children, let your children watch it. Your family, your loved one, your mother, your father, anyone that's close to you, share this video with them. So I'm going to be talking to Ross about a few guidelines on how to respond when you find yourself in a situation where there is a shootout. So what do you do? God forbid. But what do you do when you find yourself in a situation when somebody comes and starts shooting or you're being attacked by bandits or whoever they are, terrorists, whatever they call themselves? The first thing you do, number one, is lie flat. Lie flat. Don't start running up and down. Look for the lowest surface where you are and lie down flat. Make sure that your body parts are protected. Hide, lie down where you are protected. In that lying position, raise your head slightly high and look around. If there's any place lower than where you are lying, crawl to that place. Don't crawl like with your back up. Creep, how they call it. Use your tummy to creep to that place and make sure you go lower. When you are sure that you are out of sight, if there's a way you can run, you run. But if there is no way you can run, lie down flat, remain there. No, don't make any noise. Don't shout, Jesus, Jesus. Your shouting, Jesus, is not as a result of faith, but as a result of fear. And God does not respond to fear. Rather, God responds to faith. So at that point, you have to stay up faith in you. How do you stay up faith in you? Lie down flat. Don't make noise. Be truthful to yourself and God. Tell God, God, I am afraid now, but I put my faith and my trust in you. I put my life in you. Not about my shouting, Jesus, Jesus, but by putting my faith that that you are going to protect me because I'm open to you and I'm honest to you that I am afraid. In that lying position that you are, don't make noise. Now, why you don't have to make noise is that the shooters are looking for, they came there to kill. They did not come there to come and do Christmas, share Christmas gift or to do shit chat. They came there to kill. So anywhere they sense noise or movement, they are going to shoot at that place. So try not to make any noise where, where you are lying. Just stay there, remain there. When you're sure that, or oh, you are not hearing any noise, any sign of shooting, raise your head slightly to look around. Why you have to do this is that, and be very gentle about it. Make sure you make no noise at all. A shooter wants to make sure, wants self-gratification. -gratif they want to make sure that the job is well done. They will not stay for long. After shooting, they will have to leave because they'll be, they are also as afraid that the um, policemen or security agents will come and arrest them. So they are not going to stay for long, but they want to ensure that their work is their job or what they came there to do is well done. So after shooting, they will look around, take slight minutes, seconds, they won't spend too much time. They will look from the left to the right. What they are looking out for is movement and noise. So if they hear you talk at that moment, you are a target. Or if they see any movement at that moment, you are a target. Play dead. Teach your children this. Tell them to play dead. You have to be dead and alive. Just lie down there and hide. Once you're sure that all noise and you've seen that they've stepped away, all noise is gone, you're not hearing any sound of footstep, you raise your head slightly, look to your left, look to your right, look ahead, turn and look at your back. If there is no body there, stand up, not completely. Gradually stand up and crawl out of that place. When you see that it's safe to run, then run and take cover. After that, you can now start playing hero, calling your security agent. Don't try to call security agents when they are shooting. 
I beg you. I know that's what normally they will tell you to do. That you know, once you says any kind of shooting, call security agents. Make sure you pick your phone. Don't call. Once they see you making any such phone call, you are a threat to them already, and you are dead. So don't make any call. When once you have escaped and gotten to a safe place, that's when you can make a call and say, "Oh, they are shooting. Shootings have taken place here." come for rescue before then don't make call i hope this video help you guide you on how to react when you find yourself in such situation it is very important share this video with all your friends and loved ones teach your children let your children watch this video it is very important for us to stay safe protect protect yourself stay safe thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribe subscribe youtube has given me a for me to be considered a youtuber i have to have at least a thousand subscriber and i have less than 200 subscriber right now so i'll be very grateful if you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much god bless